Special thanks to Patreon supporter Ferdinand Wanicher for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare2 Wolf here bringing you another Minecraft vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare XH9 Warbird. This here is a VTOL aircraft that's used in the game and appears in the campaign and also has a store streak um, in the multiplayer. Uh, it's pretty much just a VTOL in the game, there's not really any main information for it, any history for it, it's just a VTOL that's pretty much in the game. Uh, this uh, build actually came out really good, I'm actually really happy with the way it turned out. Um, I think that the shaping on it's really nice and just overall just look of it I think it's pretty great and looks like the Warbird though I have I've never really played Advanced Warfare um, I can say that looking at pictures and stuff this thing looks pretty uh, mean looking um, it's kind of like a cross between like a Black Hawk and an Offspray kind of like what it would do and kind of how it's you know structured and all that stuff it's uh, pretty interesting I do like the way it looks um, anyways, before we go and take a look at this uh, build, and I'll sh you know kind of go over it, and you guys can see you know why it's a pretty cool, cool looking build. I want to go and give a special thanks to Patreon supporter Ferdinand Weinacher. I hopefully I, hopefully I said that right, uh, but anyways, Ferdinand, uh, was kind enough to support me on Patreon. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more than you guys already do, feel free to head off to my Patreon page. Link is down in the description, where you guys can go ahead and uh, you know decide if you guys want to or not. Um, help fund the channel a little bit. And of course, get an awesome perk like getting a vehicle um, of your choice each month and stuff like that, depending on what reward tier you decide to go and donate in. Um, anyways, I really do appreciate it to all my Patreon supporters. And again, if you guys are willing to uh, or uh, interested in donating, you guys can go ahead and head over to my Patreon page. Um, other than that, it's no requirement for sure. Um, it's just something that you know you guys can do if you guys want to help the channel a little bit and show a little bit more support than you guys already do. Um, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and pretty much take a look at the aircraft in general and kind of get an idea of what exactly we're going to be going ahead and building. Uh, of course, we'll be doing the landed version and also the in-flight version. However, pretty much the only difference is we're just going to be adding landing gear on uh, the landed version. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we got going on here. So um, you can see right here the landed version. It's uh, pretty simple. Uh, the in-flight version, you can see it's pretty much the same thing, just without any landing gear on the bottom here. Um, I had a hard time finding any kind of landing gear for the bottom, and what I was able to find was a very kind of, you know, blurry, not really, not really blurry, but just grainy photo, and it looked like it was kind of coming in and had like these struts. It didn't look like it actually had like wheels or anything like that on it. It just had these big struts that kind of stuck out on the bottom, kind of like a Star Wars uh, type vehicle or something like that. So uh, that's why I went ahead and did here, trying to my best to kind of replicate that for the land diversion. It's nothing special by all means, but it's pretty much all I could really find in terms of how to structure that on the bottom there for it to be landed. Um, and, you know, it could be wrong. I have never played the game, as I said, so, you know, n knowing basically what this uh, thing's landing gear looked like offhand is definitely something I don't know of. Um, so, anyways, that's pretty much the main, the only thing that's really, like, kind of like, you know, I don't know if that's accurate or not, but, you know, hopefully it is. Uh, we have the front up here, the, of course, the cockpit. Um, we went with some orange stained glass for this because I thought it looked a little bit better. I saw one picture that had an orange stained glass kind of tint to it, so I thought it was pretty nice, and I decided to go and go with it. Of course, you can swap it out for every kind of glass blocks you guys uh, would rather have there. Um, you have the whole shaping for it, the nose, it's kind of got a, it's kind of got a pretty wide body to it, um, which is, uh, pretty interesting, but I kind of do like it, it kind of actually works, it's not very, uh, streamlined, um, well, it, it is streamlined, but it's kind of, like, a little bit wider than I was actually expecting it to be, um, so I believe in total it is nine blocks wide, I think, might actually be seven, it could be wrong on there, um, but, uh, yeah, it's a pretty thick aircraft, actually, yeah, it is seven, um, wide on the fuselage, so a pretty good, air good size aircraft. Um, going ahead and going toward uh, the back right here, you have a uh, vertical stabilizer, your horizontal stabler stabilizers here on both sides, and you also have a tail rotor, which is a dual uh, rotor on both sides. Uh, pretty interesting um, on the back there. And uh, you also have this little thing that came on the bottom here. I'm, <laughs> I have no idea what this was for or why it was there, but it's there, so it's included. And then uh, we just have, you know, the... Uh, top up here for the rotor blades. They look a little bit derpy, but it's really hard to get six blades to kind of fit in this kind of circular space, especially in Minecraft. So I went ahead and kind of did the best I really could for that. And I mean, it works all right. It's not perfect by all means, but um, I mean, it gets the job done. Um, so anyways, that's pretty much the, uh, you know, Warbird. Overall, I think it came out pretty good and um, everything like that. So let's go ahead and move into the tutorial. Of course, we're going to be starting off with the in-flight version. 
Um, if you guys are going to want to build this thing later, I'll tell you guys exactly how much space you need off the ground for it once we get to that point. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, move into the tutorial by starting off with our first layer, layer 1. Alright guys, so moving on to our first layer, let me go ahead and start off with, of course, layer 1. Now, before we get started, I want to go ahead and, um, you know, real quickly let you guys know what uh, you guys need to make sure that you guys have uh, set up so that if you want to build this thing landed, uh, everything's going to work out. Now, layer 1 is the lowest point of the build. We're not going to have anything below this. Um, everything is going to be up from this point here. So, this is the lowest point. Now, when you're building this thing, if you want to choose, if you choose to build it landed, we're going to go ahead and need to make sure that we have a one block space uh, between the ground that it's going to be sitting on and the actual bottom of the aircraft. You can see here this orange block representing that one block space and these kind of three by three square here of uh, purple wool representing the ground. If you're building this thing landed, you're going to want to make sure that you guys have that whole, uh, you want to make sure that it looks like that. You have that block of space there. Um, and once you guys are for sure that's good, then you guys can go and start building. Now, we'll be doing a landing gear at the end of the video. I'm going to be going ahead and just building the main body first, everything like that, and all that fun stuff. Same thing applies if you're having this thing up in the air. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that it is above the air high enough to where you have, you make sure that you have clearance here, so this is the lowest point of the aircraft. Um, this is also kind of a little bit uh, back from the front where we're going to start, so about this point right here. So we're going to have a little bit more front to the back front here and a good portion of the back going back here. This isn't directly in the front, so just take that into account as well. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to place down a row of three of polished andesite. Um, it's going to go all the way across here. We're then going to place down a stone brick stair on both sides and a stone brick top set. If you guys are new to my tutorials, the way I like to structure them is I like to go ahead and do half on camera, half off. It makes the tutorial a little bit faster for me and uh, makes it uh, just a little bit easier as well. All you have to do is copy what we do on one side over to the air side. The aircraft is completely symmetrical, so whatever we do over here below the right side and the middle line, you're going to copy over to the air side. Pretty simple stuff. Um, so we have our row 3 of polished andesite, stone brick up, sound stair both sides, and stone brick top side. We then want to go ahead and go off this row in whichever direction we want to have the front facing, which we're going to choose this direction here. We're going to place down a row of five of stone brick top sabs across. We then want to place down a second row of five of stone brick top sabs, followed by a row of three of stone brick top sabs, and a second row of three. So we kind of get something that looks basically uh, just like that for the front here. So something kind of like that. Pretty simple. After we have that done, we're going to go ahead and build a few more of these rows here with the stone brick upside down stairs and polished andesite blocks. Uh, we're going to go and place down a another row of three of polished andesite, stone brick upside down stair, and a stone brick top slab again. So we have basically two rows now. Uh, we're going to go and place down a third row, again, same thing, stone brick upside down stair on both sides of that row of three, stone brick top slab. We're going to go and do it a fourth time, again, a fifth time, going back. We're going to do it a sixth time, seven, eight, oops, and we're going to go and do nine. So uh, in total, we should now have basically three rows of nine going all the way back, stone brick upside down stairs on both sides like so. You can see our stone brick upside down stairs and then nine stone brick top steps right along the side there. So we should get something that kind of looks like that uh, for the section here. Again, that's nine uh, polished anesthetic blocks. If you want to go ahead and just count them real quick, make sure you guys are correct because it could fall off the build if, you don't, if, you're, not, if you're not correct. Anyways, continuing on, we're then going to place down a row of three of stone brick uh, stairs across the back here of these polished anesthetic blocks. Followed by a stone brick top sab on either side of those stone brick stairs. Uh, we're then going to place down a row of three of stone brick top sabs, coming off those three stone brick um, upside down stairs, just like that. And just like that, that's going to do it for layer one. You should get something that looks like this. After you finish it, you can copy the right side over to the left side. It's the same exact thing, and you'll be good to go. Anyways, that's going to do it for layer uh, one. With that, let's move on to layer two. All right, guys, move on to our next layer. We have layer two. For layer two, what we need to do to go ahead and get started is we need to go ahead and place down a row three here of polished andesite, which is going to be on top of these three stone brick top sabs. Once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and take a black wool block, place it down the side here of this polished andesite block, followed by a stone brick top sab coming off that black wool block as well. Once you have that complete, we're then going to place down another row of three of polished andesite across, or basically come off this row of three going toward the front. We're then going to place down a nether brick upside down stair on uh, both sides after this black wool block. We're going to place down a narrow row of three of polished andesite, followed by a stone brick um, upside down stair on both sides. We then want to place down a polished andesite block in the center there, followed by a stone brick stair like this on both sides. We're then going to place down a stone brick top sab coming off the side of the stair, um, basically going to be in between these two stairs right here in the corner. Uh, we then want to go and place down a stone brick uh, upside down stair coming off this polished andesite block, and then a stone brick top sab coming off that stone brick stair. 
Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to the side of the stone brick stair on both sides, place down a stone brick top slab. We're then gonna grab ourselves an iron trap door, place down an iron trap door right here next to these two stone brick top slabs, and one also right there like that. After you guys have uh, that complete, we're gonna go ahead and go to this black wool block. We're gonna place down a polished downside block back. We then want to go ahead and place down a stone brick stair. After that, or coming off that polished downside block like that. Once we have that done, we're gonna go ahead and place down a um, stone brick corner stair like this uh, come off that uh, stone brick stair like that we then want to place down one and two polished dancelite blocks going back now uh, for this I have the doors open I don't recall if I was able to find any pictures of having this thing with actual closed doors um, so you know the doors they would, they would probably be pretty simple we would just go and put basically a row of polished dancelite in this spot here to kind of have the doors closed um, I may actually kind of squeeze that in at the end we'll kind of see how that goes but uh We'll see here, but for this point in the tutorial, we're just going to go and leave a space here. So we're going to leave a space of one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven blocks. And then we're going to go and go back here to this stone brick top step here, place down a polished dance site block on top of it. Again, this should be a row of seven here of um, open space for the opening for the doors. Uh, with that done, we're going to place down a second polished dance site block going back, followed by a stone brick upside down stair. We're then going to place down a polished dance site block behind this stone brick stair like that. After we have that done, we're going to place down a row of five of polished dancelite blocks going all the way across. We then want to place down a row of three of stone brick stairs. We'll come off those polished dancelite blocks in the center, followed by a corner upside down stone brick corner stair on both sides. We're then going to place down a row of three of stone brick top slabs, come off the row of three of stone brick stairs in the middle. Uh, once you have that done, you should get something that kind of looks like this, and you're going to, of course, copy the one side over to the other. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some placeholder blocks. We're going to go ahead and go from this stone brick top slab here. We're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 spaces back. We're then going to place down a stone brick top slab, followed by a polished dancelite block with a stone brick stair on both sides of the polished dancelite block like that. We then want to place down a stone brick stair coming off the polished dancelite block uh, going toward the rear of the aircraft, followed by a stone brick slab on either side. We then want to place down a row of three of stone brick half slabs coming off the slabs and the stair. And then a stone brick half slab coming off the very center slab there in that row three. Once you guys have that done, it's going to kind of finish. That's going to finish that off, and we just need to go ahead and remove uh, those placeholder blocks uh, to count back. And we should have something that kind of looks like this so far for layer two. Anyways, that's it for this layer. Let's move on to layer three. All right, guys, moving on to layer three. For layer three, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by taking a stone brick stair. We're going to place it down on top of the stone brick top slab in the very front. On either side of the stone brick stair, we're then going to place down a stone brick corner stair like that. Going back from the center stair, we're going to place down a polished dancelite block, followed by a gray wool uh, block on both sides. Uh, on the near side of the gray wool, we're going to place down a stone brick slab on both sides, just like that. After that, we're going to go ahead and go back from the stone brick slab, so we're going to place down a stone brick stair back, followed by a stone brick corner stair like that. After we, we have that done, we're then going to place down a polished dancelite block, followed by a stone brick stair like this. We're then going to place down one and two more stone brick stairs after this stair to create a corner stair. We also want to go and grab ourselves quartz stairs. We're going to place down one and two quartz stairs, followed by a stone brick stair like that. After that's done, we're going to go back to this section here. We're going to place down one, two, and three stone brick stairs. We want to go and then go in kind of an indent here, place down a stone brick stair like this, and then one back like that so we create a corner stair, and then we have a regular stair like that. We then want to place down a polished dancelite block, followed by a stone brick upside down stair coming off of it, like so. In between uh, the stone brick ups down stairs, there's going to be a row of three of polished andesite across like that. We then want to place down a, uh, again, a row of stone brick stairs here. So we're going to place down a row of three of stone brick stairs across the center, three polished andesite blocks, and then a stone brick corner stair like this on both sides, kind of connecting these two stairs to each other. After that step, we're then going to just place down a row of five of stone brick top subs coming off those five stone brick ups and down stairs, including the corner stairs. Uh, with that complete, uh, we're going to go ahead and go to this stone brick top sub here for this back section right back here we're going to place down a polished dancelite block on top of it followed by a stone brick upside down stair like that on both sides we also want to place down a stone brick top slab coming off that polished dancelite block facing toward the fuselage of the aircraft that we have currently built up uh, we're then going to place down a row of three of polished dancelite that's going to go across the top of these stairs and pretty much all the way across like that we then want to place down a polished dancelite block on top of this stone brick stair right here followed by a stone brick upside down stair on either side of it uh, facing that direction like so with that complete, that is going to do it for layer 3. With that, we can go ahead and move on to layer 4. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer uh, 4. For layer 4, we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down a acacia wood slab on top of this polished dancelite block here in between the gray wool blocks. After that, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves orange stained glass. We're going to place down a row of 3 here of orange stained glass all the way across. 
We then want to place die a second row of three of orange stained glass directly behind those orange stained glass full blocks, followed by an orange stained glass pane on both sides. We're then going to grab ourselves orange stained glass again. We're going to place down an orange stained glass block going back from that orange stained glass pane, followed by a polished andesite block. We're then going to place down a narrow orange stained glass block. Uh, this time we're going to place down a wooden sign on the side here of this stained glass block. We also want to place down a snow brick stair facing this direction like so. And on the inside here of the stair, we're going to place down again an orange stained glass block like that. Coming off the stone brick stair, we're going to place down one and two polished andesite blocks back. We're then going to go ahead and skip over this space as we're leaving the doors open right now. And we're going to go and come back to this section here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go from the stone brick stair here. We're going to go ahead and kind of go in at an angle. So you get something that kind of looks like that. We're going to place down a polished andesite block followed by one and two back. So you have a row of three right here. After that row of three, we're then going to place down one and two cobblestone walls going back. We want to go ahead and go on the inside here of the uh, aircraft in between these cobblestone walls. We're going to place down two polished andesite blocks to fill in any gaps left open by the cobblestone walls. After those two polished andesite blocks, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four back, or basically to this stone brick top step on the end here. Uh, we then want to place down a polished andesite block here in the center, followed by a stone brick uh, upside down stair facing this direction, like so. Come off this row of polished andesite. Um, we then want to go ahead and place down one, two, and three more. So you have a row of four here of polished andesite. So you have one block right here, and it goes all the way back, connects up to this stone brick top step right here. We're then going to place down just a row of one and two stone brick ups down stairs, and then a stone brick corner stair, uh, just like that, um, to kind of round it off. So you get something that kind of looks like this on the side here. Uh, with that finished, we're going to go ahead and uh, basically leave this center space open. We're going to go ahead and go to this section here. We're going to place down another brick stair, just like that. We're then going to go ahead and go back to these stairs, go off at an angle, place down a polished andesite block, and a stone brick upside down stair like that on uh, both sides. So you get something that kind of looks like that for this section here. With that complete, we do want to go ahead and uh, throw on our horizontal stabilizers. So very simple for this. We're going to go ahead and go to uh, basically on top of this stone brick upside down stair here. We're going to place down a stone brick slab. Or my bad. We're going to go ahead and go to the next stair over. So this corner stair here, we're going to place down a stone brick slab coming off of it. We then want to go ahead and go to the next uh, spot over. We're then going to place down one, two, and three stone brick half slabs coming off of it. Uh, we then want to place down uh, one and two stone brick half slabs like this, followed by uh, one, two, and three stone brick top slabs coming off of it. And then after that, we're just going to go ahead and then place down a row of five here, or, or um, yeah, a row of five here of uh, stone brick top slabs going all the way across there to make the um, horizontal stabilizers. The same thing over there on the left side as well. Once you guys have that done, that's going to do it for layer four. With that, let's move on to layer five. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer five. For layer five, we're going to go ahead and start off by going to the front up here. We're going to go ahead and go to these uh, three uh, orange stained glass blocks with the glass panes on both sides. We're going to place down three acacia wood slabs on top of them. We then want to place down a row of three of orange stained glass coming off of three acacia wood slabs, followed by a uh, orange stained glass pane on both sides of that row of three. Going ahead and going back from that, we're going to place down a narrow row of three of orange stained glass directly behind the previous row, followed by a stone brick stair on both sides. After that's done, we're going, to then, we're going to go ahead and then place down a narrow orange stained glass block after this stone brick stair, followed by again a row of three of polished andesite in between those blocks. Going ahead and continuing on, on top of this stone brick stair here, we're going to place down a stone brick up down stair. We're going to place down an orange stained glass block on both sides and a polished andesite block there in the center. After that's complete, we're going to place down a polished andesite block, come off this stone brick stair. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a black wool block. We're going to place down a black wool block on the uh, top of this polished andesite block with a wither skeleton skull come off the side of it. We will then need to go ahead and grab ourselves some nether brick slabs. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven nether brick top slabs going back, followed by a black wool block and again a wither skeleton skull on top of this polished andesite block here. Uh, we're then going to place down two more polished andesite blocks going back, as well as two cobblestone walls. Uh, on the inside here, there's cobblestone walls on top of this polished andesite row here. We're going to build upon that. So we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five polished andesite blocks back. We're then going to place down one and two stone brick stairs and a stone brick corner stair like that. Uh, on the back of this stone brick corner stair, we're going to place down one and two polished andesite blocks back. In between the two second ones, we're going to place down a polished andesite block there in the middle. Coming off the uh, blocks here on the sides, we're going to place down a nether brick top slab, followed by a polished andesite block and then a nether brick top slab. In between the polished andesite blocks, we're going to want to place down a polished andesite block there in the middle. Across the top of the polished andesite block and the stairs on the back here, we're just going to place down a row of three of uh, polished andesite blocks to kind of fin finish that off. And once you guys have that done, that's going to do it for layer five. With that, we can go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer six.
All right, guys, so going ahead and moving on to our next layer, we'll be going ahead and moving on to layer uh, six. For layer six, what we want to do is you want to go ahead and start off by going to the top of this orange stained glass. We're going to place down a row of two of light gray carpet on top of your center glass blocks. We then want to place down a row of two of gray carpet on either side of this row of two of light uh, gray carpet. After this row of two of light gray carpet, we're going to place down a stone brick slab, followed by a wither skeleton skull facing this direction on both sides, and then a light gray, sting, or light gray carpet on top of this orange stained glass block. After we have that done, we're going to go ahead and take a polished andesite block. We're going to place it down in the center here. Stone brick stair on both sides, and then a stone brick half slab on the back of the stair. We then want to continue on by placing down a row of three of polished andesite across, followed by a stone brick half slab on the side. And we also want to place down an upside down stone brick stair coming off that half slab. With that done, we're going to go ahead and pretty much do the same thing. An air polished andesite block, an air stone brick half slab, and an air stone brick upside down stair. Another... Uh, Three, a narrow polished dance blocks, a narrow row of three polished dance block, blocks, a stone brick slab, and a stone brick upside down stair. When we get to the section here, it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to place down a row of three of polished dance site, a black wool block, um, and then a stone brick upside down stair coming off the black wool block. After we have uh, that complete, we're going to go and place down a row of five here of polished dance site that's going to go across, followed by a stone brick upside down stair on the side. We're going to place down a second row of five here of polished dance site, stone brick stair. This time, however, we're going to place down another brick. Uh, top step that comes off this stone brick stair like that after you have that done We're gonna place down again a row of five polished andesite stone brick upside down stair <clears throat> Another row of five polished andesite stone brick stair another row of five uh, stone brick stair Row of five of polished andesite stone brick stair and then this section here is a little bit different We're gonna place down a polished andesite block in the center here followed by a black wool block to the side a polished andesite block and again a stone brick upside down stair uh, we then want to go ahead and uh, pretty much do the same thing again. So a polished andesite block in the middle, black wool block to the side, polished andesite block, and a stone brick upside down stair. We're then going to place down a polished andesite block in the middle, black wool block, and then a polished andesite block out to the side. Uh, going ahead and continuing on, we're then going to place down a stone brick um, upside down uh, corner stair, which is going to come off this polished andesite block. So it's going to be upside down like this, and then we're going to place down one stair that's going to turn into a corner stair. In between these two stairs here, we're just going to place down two rows of three of polished andesite. We also want to grab ourselves a, skeleton, a wither skeleton skull, and on this polished andesite block right here, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull on both sides. Going back to this section here, coming off uh, this uh, row of three of polished andesite in the center, we're going to place down a polished andesite block, stone brick stair on both sides, and a stone brick slab to the side. We then want to place down a row of three of stone brick slabs across this row of three of polished andesite. We're then going to place down two stone brick slabs back, fall, fall by uh, three polished andesite blocks. On the third polished andesite block on both sides, we're going to place down a stone brick stair. And then a stone brick half slab come off the front of the stair. We then want to place down a cobblestone wall on top of this polished andesite block. We're also going to place down a narrow brick half slab on top of those two narrow brick top slabs. We then want to go to the back here. We're going to place down a polished andesite block in the center, followed by a stone brick um, stair like that on both sides. Once you guys have that all complete, that is going to do it for layer six. With that, we can move on to layer seven. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer seven. We're starting to get there. Uh, we're getting close. As you can see, we're starting to kind of, you know, get this, um, you know, the uh, engines on the sides put together. Um, so we're getting there. So uh, to go ahead and uh, get started, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and go to uh, this whole, this top section here. Uh, we're going to go do this first row of three of polished andesite. We're going to place down a quartz slab on top of it, followed by a uh, wither skeleton skull like this on both sides. Going back from the quartz slab, we're going to place down a nether brick stair like this. Um, and then a quartz slab on both sides of that um, narrow brick stair. We also want to grab ourselves a light gray carpet on top of this steel brick slab right here to place down light gray carpet, followed by one and two, going toward the front like that. After we have uh, that complete, we're then going to place down a black wool block directly behind this narrow brick stair, followed by a quartz full block on both sides. We then want to place down a stone brick top slab, coming off the quartz full block on both sides, followed by a stone brick stair. Come off the stone brick stair toward the front, we're going to place down one and two stone brick half slabs, just like that. After that, we're going to place down a black wool block again in the center, quartz full block on both sides, and then a row of two of polished andesite blocks out to the sides. Continuing on, we're going to place down a polished andesite block in the center, quartz full block on both sides, two polished andesite blocks out to the side. Uh, we're going to go and leave the engines here for a little bit later. We're going to come back to those. We're just going to focus on the fuselage, and we'll get back to those in a second. Uh, we then want to place down a row of seven here, a polished andesite all the way across. We're then going to place down a second row of seven, again, all the way across. Uh, we then want to place down three polished andesite blocks in the center, stone brick stair to the side, and a stone brick half slab. We're going to go ahead and repeat that one more time. So a row of three of polished andesite, stone brick stair, and stone brick slab out to the side. For this section here, we're going to place down a polished andesite block in the center, followed by another brick slab to the side, a stone brick stair face in this direction, 
to the side as well, and a stone brick half sab. For our next row over, we're going to place down a stone brick stair, come off the polished andesite block on either side of that stone brick stair and another brick slab. We then want to place down a stone brick corn stair, come off this stair, and a stone brick slab. Or, uh, my bad, uh, we're going to place down a light gray carpet to this side there. After that's complete, we're going to place down a stone brick slab here, come off the center stair, followed by a stone brick slab, come off those two stairs on both sides, and a light gray carpet on both sides. Uh, we're then going to place down a row of three of stone brick slabs across the middle here, and one stone brick half slab that, that kind of goes back like that from that row of three. Uh, once we have that done, we're going to go back to this um, to the engine here, or the uh, tail rotor. We're going to place down a stone brick slab on top of this pol second polished anesthetic block, followed by one, two, three, four, and five uh, polished anesthetic blocks back. So we have our four polished anesthetic blocks back, where they're going to place down a stone brick stair on the end here. And then on your side here, this, pol this uh, polished anesthetic block here, we're going to place down a stone brick stair, polished anesthetic block, and stone brick stair. Also, one thing I forgot from the previous layer is we actually want to take a cobblestone wall and place it down on top of this polished anesthetic block right there in the middle to go ahead and kind of finish that off. Once you guys have uh, that all done, that's going to do it for layer 7. And with the, or my bad, that's going to do it for the main body. I was getting a little ahead of myself, but I almost forgot the engines. Uh, so for the engines here, uh, very simple. We're just going to kind of build off of what we already have. Um, so to start off with, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves um, some, you know, black wool, some nerve break ups down stairs, stuff like that. We're going to go to this first polished dance site block here and place down a nerve break ups down stair. Followed by one, two, and three black wool blocks back and again a nether brick ups and down stair like that. We're also going to go ahead and take our wither skeleton skulls and we're going to place down uh, one and two wither skeleton skulls come off those two nether brick ups and down stairs. With that complete, we're going to go ahead and place down a polished anesthetic block from off the center black wool block, followed by a stone brick upside down stair on both sides of it. With that complete, we're then going to place down a narrow stone brick upside down stair come off of it, and then again, a um, we're going to place down a stone brick stair, which is going to face this direction, and then we're going to place down a narrow stone brick upside down stair that comes off of it, so we have a corner stair and then a stone brick stair. Same thing over here, just like this, um, like that on both sides. Once we have uh, that done, we're going to go ahead and take our, um, we're actually going to go ahead and actually place down a stone brick top side where these stairs are, so my bad on that. I'll just go ahead and place down a stone brick stair there, and we're going to have to actually switch this stair here so it's a corner stair, so we're going to have to place it down like this. And then you can see it's a corner stair, and we have the top slab on both sides there. Any anyways, with that done, we're going to go ahead and go behind these top slabs, we're going to place down a polished anesthetic block on both sides. We then want to go ahead and go at an angle from this polished anesthetic block back, uh, or polished anesthetic block, we're going to place down one out to the side. We're also going to place down a stone brick top step in between these two uh, polished anesthetic blocks, like that. Um, then once you get that done, we're going to go ahead and, and place down a stone brick upside down stair that comes off this polished anesthetic block at an angle. Second, uh, another polished anesthetic block and this another stone brick stair. Same thing over here on this side. So just like that. Uh, when we get to this section here, we're going to go ahead and pretty much do something very similar. We're going to place down two polished anesthetic blocks, kind of at an angle from each other. Same thing over here. And they're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair, polished anesthetic block, and a stone brick upside down stair. However, we do have a little bit more to do um, in between these polished anesthetic blocks. We're going to place down a stone brick top slab. We're also going to place down a stone brick top slab from off the polished anesthetic block and in between this upside down stair. Uh, we then want to go ahead and place down a um, row of three here of polished or stone brick top slabs that come off this um, these uh, stone brick upside down stairs and polished anesthetic block. Uh, we also want to go ahead and just place down um, two that come off this polished anesthetic block. We're also going to place down an air two off this polished anesthetic block here. And then one, um, or actually my bad, sorry, two stone brick top slabs off this stone brick upside down stair. And once you guys have that done, you should get something that kind of looks like that. And it's going to be the same thing on both sides there. Uh, we do want to go ahead and grab ourselves a cobblestone wall. We're going to need to go to the center of our circle, which is going to be uh, one, two, and three blocks over, followed by a cobblestone wall. And we have our center of our circle there. We're going to place down a cobblestone wall just like that. Once you guys have that done, that's going to do it for layer 7. With that, let's go ahead and move on to layer 8. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer 8. For layer 8, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by placing down two white carpet after these uh, black wool blocks, so just two uh, white carpet like this going back, and then a light gray carpet like that. Coming off these three blocks here, we're going to place down a row of three of stone brick slabs across like that. Coming off the center uh, stone brick slab here, we're going to place down a stone brick stair like that. We then want to place down uh, one and two stone brick slabs going toward the front, and then one, two, and three uh, stone brick slabs going toward the rear. Uh, with that complete, behind this stone brick stair here, we want to place down a polished anesthetic block. We then want to go and go both sides of the polished anesthetic block and place down a stone brick stair. Um, and then for the going toward the front here, we're going to place down a stone brick, uh, stone brick slab, just like that, come off the stair. And then come off this stair back here, we're going to place down a stone brick corner stair, um, just like that. 
After that's complete, we're going to go ahead and take our black wool. We're going to place down a row three of black wool across like this on top of the previous row we placed down in the previous layer. We're then going to place down a nether brick uh, stair on both sides of that um, row three there of black wool. We're going to grab ourselves wither skeleton skulls again and place down wither skeleton skulls coming off those um, nether brick stairs. Uh, with that done, in the middle here, we're going to place down a polished neonite block followed by a stone brick stair, which is going to be on both sides here of this polished neonite block. Uh, we're then going to place down a second polished dance that block back and then a stone brick corner stair like that on both sides. Come off those stone brick corner stairs, we're going to place down a stone brick slab on both sides like that. We're then going to go and go on top of these polished dance that blocks, place down one and two. Also on top of the stone brick half slab, we're going to place, or stone brick top slab, we're going to place down a stone brick half slab on top of it. So kind of we're copying what we did in the previous layer. Um, continuing on, we're going to place down a stone brick stair here, polished dance that block, stone brick stair. We then want to place down two stone brick half slabs on top of the top slabs, two polished andesite blocks on top of the polished andesite blocks, two stone brick half slabs on top of those two stone brick uh, top slabs. Same thing right here. Uh, we're then going to place down a stone brick stair on top of this upside down stair, polished andesite block on top of the polished andesite block, and stone brick stair on top of that stone brick stair. On these three stone brick uh, top slabs, we're going to place down a row of three of stone brick half slabs. Same thing right here that we do on the other side here. Polished andesite blocks on top of those, stone brick half slabs on top of the top slabs. And then right over here, a polished dancing block on top of this, this polished dancing block and a stone brick stair on either side of it. Um, with that all complete, uh, we then have to do the blades in the middle. Very simple for this. We're going to place down a polished dancing block there in the middle. We're going to need to grab ourselves some nether brick slabs and also quartz slabs if you do not have them already. Um, so for this, we're going to go ahead and just place down a two nether brick top slabs going off in two directions like that. Uh, right across from each other, followed by a quartz top slab on both sides. We then want to place down a nether brick top slab coming off the other two sides of the uh, polished andesite block. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and basically go ahead and angle uh, from that nether brick top slab here to both sides. So same thing like this, off to both sides like that. And then we're going to place down a quartz top slab like this um, in the corners here. It's going to go all the way around like that. And one uh, thing you can also do is maybe do a quartz top slab like this. This might, might also work as well for it. Um, like that for making the blades that actually kind of works out so you could do that as well um just kind of trying to make the blades you know work it's again very tricky sometimes with you know the blocks and stuff trying to make that look right uh but that's pretty much probably one of the best things you're gonna be able to get for it and it looks pretty decent from you know down below anyways that right there is um going to nearly do it for this layer we do have a little bit on the tail we have to do uh so going back to the tail here we're gonna place down a stone brick slab on top of this polished dancing block right here we're gonna fold it up and place it down two quartz full blocks and a polished dancing block um going back once you guys have that all done, that's going to do it for layer, um, I believe that's 7, um, or it might actually be 8. Uh, with that, let's go ahead and move on to layer 9. Alright guys, so moving on to layer 9. Layer 9 is uh, super simple. All we want to do is go to the engines here. We're going to top these off. So we're going to place down a stone brick slab on top of this polished andesite block, followed by a light gray carpet kind of going around on top of those nether brick um, half slabs. Once you have that done, that's going to do it for our engines there. Uh, we also have a little bit we need to do right here. We're just going to place down a nether brick um, half slab on top of that center black wool block like that and that's going to do it for this for the engines um once we have that done we're going to go back to the tail here we're going to place down two or sorry three polished andesite blocks on top of the quartz and polished andesite block also from the previous layer what i forgot to do is i forgot to place down a button on both sides of the second quartz block so just go ahead and make that small change and you guys will be good to go anyways that's going to do it for uh layer um nine with that let's go ahead and move on to our last five layers 10 and 11 and finish off the main body of the build and then of course i'll show you guys how to put the landing gear on and i've actually decided i'm going to go and put, decide um or i'm going to go and show you guys how to put a door on uh though it's going to be pretty much very simple so uh with that let's go ahead and uh, move on to our last final layers all right so for our last final layers guys it's again very simple stuff here we're just gonna be working on the vertical stabilizer on the rear here we're just gonna place down a stone brick slab on top of this polished andesite block where they're gonna place down one and two polished andesite blocks stone brick upside down stair we then want to place down a row of three of polished andesite blocks on top of the upside down stair and those three polished andesite blocks like that. And uh, that's going to do it for the tail piece there and that's going to finish off the uh, main kind of fuselage for the build. As you can see the uh, ver or the uh, warbird is pretty much completely done and uh, came out really nice looking. If you guys want to build this thing landed or with the door shut uh, be sure to stick around. We're going to go ahead and work on those in these next two sections of the video. Um, other than that if you guys are good to go with this then you guys are pretty much done and you have the, the um, warbird completely done anyways let's go ahead and move on to uh, building this thing with the doors shut and then I'll go ahead and show you guys how to make this thing uh, landed all right so what I was able to tell from you know, looking at pictures and stuff for the warbird and having this thing with its um, you know doors shut it's uh, 
you know very simple it basically we're just gonna have to continue the body from where we already started so uh to actually do this we're gonna go ahead and need to delete these metal brick top slabs across the top there uh we're then gonna go ahead and take our um polished anti blocks here we're gonna place down a row across like this followed by a row of stone brick stairs across all the way like that we're gonna go ahead and go uh, to this in between these polished anti blocks place down a row across and then also up here a narrow row of polished anti all the way across like that and that's going to close your doors off and kind of close off that section. As you can see, it's pretty simple. It's a pretty easy addition to it if you want to make the doors shut on it. Uh, as far as I'm able to tell with pictures and the very limited pictures really for seeing the doors shut properly and all that. That's pretty much what's going on there. So uh, that's what we're going to do for that. Anyways, uh, hopefully you guys uh, were able to you know, add that on. And you guys can pick and choose if you want the doors open. Personally, I like it better with the doors open. But uh, that is up to you guys whether or not you want to do that. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the final portion of the tutorial, which is going to be going ahead and making this thing landed. And then, of course, we'll go ahead and, um, you know, uh, finish off the tutorial from there. So with that, let's go ahead and make this uh, thing landed. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving on to putting the landing gear on. It's uh, pretty simple stuff, as I mentioned, and uh, will be a pretty simple, quick addition. Now, again, just to make sure that we're all on the same page here and we are good to go. Uh, make sure that you look back at your build and measure the space in between this bottom polished or polished inside block here on the very bottom of the uh, aircraft and the ground. Make sure there's a one block space. Um, if you don't have a one block space or you have, you know, two spaces or whatever, this thing isn't going to sit on the ground. So you need to make sure that's right. If not, you're going to have to move it or, uh, you know, work something out to make sure that it works. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and kind of go in this section here. Um, and we'll just go ahead and kind of break our way in here. So, uh, we have these three, uh, or stone brick top steps here in the center. We're going to go ahead and delete those three blocks. Um, if in response to that, we're probably going to need to make some kind of floor here. So you probably could make a floor of like half steps or something in here, which actually probably wouldn't be a bad idea to just kind of cover this area up. So we could just go ahead and theoretically close it off doing something kind of like that. And if we wanted to, you can make a whole floor like this, which will kind of make the, you know, a little bit nicer on the inside here uh, but you know that's again up to you guys to work on anyways uh, once we have that sorted out we should have this space in the inside here we're gonna place down two end rods on either side here so that's a row of three there we're then gonna place down a nether brick stair like this nether brick half set behind the stair and a nether brick stair behind that one so we get something that looks like that and then a stone brick slab that's going to be right back in here if we broke that so we should get something that looks like that for your first landing strut again very simple the next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and go uh, to this uh, back section kind of in here. Um, again, one thing you can do for the inside here if you want to is you, you're probably going to want to actually close this off um, the back here. So just kind of close it off, kind of create a more kind of, you know, crew cabin uh, type vibe to it. Uh, but with that complete, we want to go ahead and take our, um, our um, blocks here. We're going to need to break some blocks and we're going to break these stairs out right here. So we're going to break one, two, and three right here and then one, two, and three like that. Now, what we want to do after that is, again, if you were to do a half slab four over, you know, over across this entire build here, this would kind of work out for it, um, covering this section up. Uh, but if you want to just do a flat uh, floor, like I currently have it set up, you're going to have to put down iron trap doors or carpet or something to cover up because this will show onto the inside. Now, uh, once you have that all complete here, we have this space that's opened up on the inside here. We're going to go ahead and place down an end rod um, like this, again, on both sides like that. We can place down a stone brick slab there in the middle. And then on the bottom here, we're just going to place down, again, an Arabic stair like this on both sides and an Arabic half slab. Just like that for the landing strap. And then just a stone brick slab back here that you broke. And same thing over here. We're just going to do it real quick. It's uh, very simple. Just like that. And again, our uh, Arabic stair like this, an Arabic slab behind it, an Arabic stair like that, and a stone brick slab. And uh, once you have that all done, that's going to pretty much do it for everything really for this uh, tutorial for the uh, XH9 Warbird. Again, a special thanks to Ferdinand for uh, making this video possible. Again, feel free to check out my Patreon page if you are interested in supporting the channel um, a little bit further. And that, guys, hope you guys did enjoy this design for the um, awesome Warbird. 
um, and uh, all that stuff. If you guys do decide to use this build, I do ask that you guys um, do give me proper credit for it. This may think from the side of the build, link to my channel or this video. If this does appear on your social media sites, just be sure to get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow, and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting these videos. So as long as you guys give me credit for it, you're free to use it for whatever project you guys are working on. And that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.